so today I want to do um, a little like Valentine's Day like sexy eye look so that's what we're gonna be doing today I don't have anything on my face yet and I'm gonna I'm gonna show you why I don't have anything on my face yet because um, I'm gonna use a little handy tool to do this so but the first thing I'm gonna do is stick a little primer on my eyelids I don't use like a specific like eye primer probably should but I don't right now I just use the Urban Decay Optical Illusion it's my favorite primer because it's got like rosehip and um, argan oil in it and I just have to say for myself I noticed a huge difference in my skin just when I switched to this primer it made like a big difference in my complexion so I'm just gonna stick that on first and then these are like this is the one thing I didn't already pull out oh no oh okay I actually ordered these off wish I had seen them on there and they were like dirt cheap. Everything on Wish is dirt cheap. Um, but they're these little things. And the back peels off. The, the front is like um, cottony. But the back peels off. And what they're for. Oh, I know my hair looks crazy. It's because I just got out of the shower. And I don't comb my hair usually when it's wet. If I'm just going to let it air dry. Because your hair is um, the most fragile when it's wet so if you comb through it you can actually like tear your hair so if you just let it air dry first if you can do that because mine doesn't really tangle <coughs> I'm sorry <coughs> I still have that cold um, <coughs> if you just let it air dry um, it will um, uh, if, if you can let it air dry without it tangling like you'll be better off and I was just thinking I can't remember if I sprayed my leave-in on it though but, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry. But, yeah, so that's why my hair looks like this, because it's air drying, and that's where we're at. So, anyways, these are made to put in a mirror down here, just FYI. I put them, you can either put them right at the corner of your eye, but because I take my eyeshadow below my eye a little bit, I take them down there. Now you can, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I know that's so annoying. Um, if you put them right at your eye, it'll help you make a better wing, or whatever, if you're planning on winging your eyeliner. But, like I said, I like to take my eyeshadow <clears throat> below my eye, so I don't want to put it, like, right up against my, the corner of my eye to um it does help you make like a really nice wing actually but because I want to put eyeshadow under here um I don't want to I don't want to block that off but that's why I didn't put face makeup on yet because <clears throat> you don't want to put face makeup on and then stick these on top of it so I prime my eyes so we're gonna do like I said like a little valentine's look here um I've got, I've got my Too Faced Razzle Dazzle Berry Eyeshadow Palette. I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking the way this one's looking for today. And I pulled out a couple other. I have my Tarte Ladies Night Clay Palette. Um, and I've got um, Jacqueline Hill and Morphe's, um, ring the alarm palette I've got that sitting here too so we're just gonna see we're just gonna see what happens where's my paper towels <clears throat> so first I'm gonna start with I'm just gonna get my um, Tarte eyeshadow brush I don't know which one it came in a kit so sorry about that so basically I want to put some sort of base color on And I think I'm going to go with the Too Faced palette. 
and I believe it, it's this one. I believe it's Dazzle. I really like it better when they put the names right underneath them because, yes, that's Dazzle. <clears throat> We're just going to throw it all over the lid, up into, you know, like into the crease, right under my brow bone. Just to give like a little bit of something to start out with. So, um, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take this middle color from this palette. It is, let's see here, Buried Treasure. I'm going to take that one. I'm just going to put a little bit on my brush and... I'm going to start out here and I'm just going to like really lightly just with like next to no like force that seems like the wrong word to use but for lack of a better word that's what we're going to say and I'm just going to take it up to like you can what's nice about that this is you can just like brush right over that so we're gonna blend this out sorry if you hear my heater buzzing but it's cold so you know here we are I live in Pennsylvania it's January it's cold. Okay, so we're going to go back in and we're going to do the same thing. I know one of the biggest things that, like, for me personally to get the hang of is to not, like, push. Just, like, let the brush do its job. I think I put this one farther away from my eye than this one. Oh, well. It is what it is now, right? But yeah, let the brush do its job. Like, let it just light, like, just lightly hold it. Like I said, like, don't put much pressure. That's a better word. Pressure. Don't use much pressure. Just let the, let the tool do what it's supposed to do. I go back and forth to get it kind of like where I want, and then we're just going to kind of circle it just to give it like a nice little like blend out. I like to swirl my brush on a paper towel just to kind of like get rid of some of the, um, like, you know, I don't know. I just don't like to dip back and forth because then you start mixing colors in your palettes and that's not what I want. So I'm going to go back into the same color now, but I'm going to switch brushes. I'm going to go with my good old trusty cheap face secrets. Don't know where it came from. Probably Walmart. Probably who knows. I picked it up somewhere along the line. And I'm kind of thinking I want to spritz my brush a little bit. I use the Skin Fix Coconut Water Hydrating Mist. I use this anytime. Like if I'm putting my face on, putting my face on. Oh. Um, do you ever notice? Like I don't know with you, but like I said, I live in a really dry climate. Not like the desert, but like in the winter time, it gets really dry here. My skin gets really dry, and um. If, like, I put my foundation and my setting powder and stuff on and all that stuff and my face starts looking too dry, I miss it with that and it really makes a big difference. But I also use it to spritz my brushes. So I'm going to go back into that same color. Nobody ever calls me until I start recording, I swear, because then I forget. But anyways, we're going to wet the brush and we're going to go back into that color and we're just going to kind of pat it in, like, this outer...
we already did a nice a nice blend with it but now I want more intensity so we're just gonna pat that in there and we're just like patting it on and I'm not really doing like I just pat that in there and then I'm gonna leave it alone I'm not really going to um, do much when it comes to um, like blending it or anything because we already gave it a nice blend to begin with now we just want to like intensify the color so we're gonna go and we're gonna pat it in the other eye I'd say I'm going like a third of cross my eyelid when you use a wet brush whether you just use water or you're spritzing it with something you're gonna wanna just like do more padding than like sweeping because you just like altered the texture of your eyeshadow so you just kinda wanna like pat it in there okay I'm really happy with that so let's see here hmm I think the next thing we're gonna do is give our brush another little spritz because this is you know we want it to be kind of intense this is a Valentine's look right so we're gonna go back into our Too Faced palette and we're gonna use the third color which is called Razzle I actually like I I used this when I first got it and then I kind of forgot about it honestly this palette I'm going to go now to like Holy smokes. I've never wet these shadows before and used them, so. Holy crap, if you wet that color, it's crazy intense. Wow. Maybe I should have tried it dry first. It's fine. This is for Valentine's Day, right? So we want it to be a little, we want it to have some pow. If I ever start <clears throat> saying something, and then like I start saying something else and I never finish my thought, I'm just going to apologize now for that. I do it all the time. Usually I'll bring myself back around and finish my thought, but not always. So, like, I'm sorry for that, but it happens quite a bit with me. Okay, so we're just patting this now. I guess... We did the dark more on like half of my lid, and now we're doing this lighter color on the other half. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and bring that down around here. Okay, so in the meantime, we're going to let that dry a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our tart brush that fell on the floor. And we're going to go back into that color that we were using in the middle, which was the Buried Treasure, on the, the first brush that we used, the dry one. And we're just going to just kind of like re-stick it in the crease there just to kind of bring it back. Because with all that padding and stuff, you know, it kind of, you lose a little bit. But like I said, use a really light touch. Let the tool do it. And this was something that took me like forever to um, really get the hang of doing. It sounds silly, but like I always wanted to be like pushing it on there. And you just want to be light about it. Like let the tool do its job. That's what it's made for. Okay, I'm going to dip back into that and I'm going to go, now I'm going to bring it around and stick it in my eyeball. Don't do that on purpose. But, um, we're gonna bring it around and go underneath the eye. I feel like the first time I used this palette, I wasn't super impressed, but this time, 
this time seems to be going better for me, so maybe because the first time, like, it came with a little, like, a little booklet in it, or, you know, like a little thing that, like, gave you ideas on, um, eye looks, and I just followed one of those and went off that instead of just doing my own thing, so maybe that was it, but I feel like this is gonna make, like, a super pretty Valentine's Day look. Okay, so now we're going to, I think I'm going to, I want to blend the, I don't want like that start like light to dark where we pat it in. So I'm going to pull in, I know like I like to use everything from one palette because it doesn't really help you guys if you don't have both, but there's not a color that I want to use. So I'm going to pull out my my Jaclyn Hill Morphe one, and I'm just going to use the color, um, Bomb Ass, that my daughter likes to refer to as Bomb Butt, or, um, Bomb Donkey. But we're just going to get a little bit of that. My brush is still, actually, that, that's true. That brush is still a little wet. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to my Tarte brush, because I don't want any wetness. And I'm just going to just ever so lightly just use it to smudge out where we, those two colors that we patted on, where they met. Just so it's a little bit more like gradual blendy rather than like a distinct color to color change. Now I am barely, like I'm just like touching it in there, barely putting any on my brush. Just to blend those two. Just a little bit. That's all we're going to do with that. Okay, now we're going to go back to this brush, but we're going to use the smaller end. And, um, so it's still dry. And we're going to go into this color right here which is called Bad to the Berry it's it's kinda like a black with a lot of like purpley bluey iridescentiness in it we're just gonna put a little bit on our brush and we're just gonna kinda tap it in this very outer of our eye we're just going to deepen this up just a little bit. Give it a little bit of definition. Nothing crazy. But we're just patting that in. But we are using, like I said, this is dry. But we're patting. Because we don't want to mess up the work that we've already done. So we're just going to lightly pat that in with a dry brush. Okay, I feel like that gave it just enough of like a little bit of depth there, but nothing like too crazy. Just just a smidge of like dark depth depthness depthness depth depthness. My goodness. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say. Um I knew what I wanted to say, I just couldn't get it out of my mouth. So, okay, what are we going to use? You know what I'm going to use? If I can find it. I'm like just about to organize all my makeup. Right now I have it in this big thing and it's in different baskets in there. So everything is like piled on top of each other. And I kind of have to dig through it, which is like not the most convenient. And probably like super.
super annoying for you guys that are trying to watch. Oh, it was in the wrong spot. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I lost this because it's like my go-to. I'm using my little NARS single. Um, it's in Andromeda. And to me, where's my Tarte brush? We just want to brush any eyeshadow kind of like swirled around on our paper towel because we don't want, we want this all light. But this is like the perfect, like, put up here, blend it all together kind of color, I think. Helps you, like, you can blend that, like, edge. Like, if you got too much of a harsh, like, coming off, coming off your crease, it'll blend it in real nice. It has, like, a hint of color, but nothing too crazy. Okay, so basically, this is going to be our eyeshadow look for today. And I'm going to show you guys... When you peel these off, oh, look at my poor skin. Oh, um, see how that just it just gives you like a nice, clean, finished edge. Now, if you like more of like a blurred out, oh, I don't know why that was so painful today. My goodness, usually that doesn't hurt at all. My skin must be like super dry or something that because that was. I was feeling that today. My hands are really cold, so we'll just put them on there. But, um, yeah, that gives you, like, a nice, clean, like, if you like that. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. So if you like more of, like, a faded out, like, blendy eyeshadow kind of look, then you're not going to like those. But, um, you know, I think they're pretty handy. And then, like, you don't have to be neat with your makeup. You can just you know, kind of like slap it on there and it doesn't really matter like what's going on out here because it just ends up on your little thingies and you just peel it off. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the rest of my face and um, I'll come back and we'll do like a little final reveal thing. So, I'll see you in a few. Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to pop back in and give you the finished look. So I think that would be perfect for a little, you know, Valentine's night out. Um, so, you know, make sure you um, subscribe to my channel and, um, you know, hit the little bell so that um, you get notified whenever I upload new videos. And I will see you next time, guys. Bye!